Also, hi, ich bin Dennis, bin im normalen Leben online Hi, I'm Dennis and I'm an online editor. I take care of the online presence of a company providing mobility solutions, representing them also on shows. I'm traveling around quite a bit in the market for orthopedic and medtech products and keep track on what's hot and cooking. It's my two worlds, online editor in the office for one and then gamer in front of the PC. As I am paralyzed from the neck downwards and can no longer use my arms or hands, I need specific controllers relying on the movements of my head. Can't use regular controllers or so. Today, the first test with the beacon, it was really good. Thought a lot about it before already. It is neat, nice and compact. Very flexible, one can mount it pretty much anywhere on the cap, the headset, very lightweight, doesn't disturb at all when gaming. You don't feel it at all. It was a super easy start and was real fun. The software, as far as I can tell so far, and I've configured with it already, makes a very solid impression, relatively self-explanatory. One can pretty easily click through. One sees directly where what is and what means what. That allows for a very quick entry. That looks very good, very promising. The advantages of the beacon are crystal clear. You have additional input. Despite my controller, where I am rather fixed, I can quickly trigger additional actions, and so the game runs quicker and more fluently. Totally fat. Use cases for someone without handicap are virtually unlimited, I think. No matter whether on the foot, for example, or wherever. You are totally flexible. And I honestly couldn't imagine where it stops, where to position it, and how to use it. The main frontier, your own creativity. True to the motto, sky is the limit, I don't see any borders. Potential exists, it does a lot, and I feel it'll gain a certain position on the gaming market or device market. I can very well imagine so.